Hi, this is Don again with that same problem of the mean difference when we have to assume that the variances are not equal. This time I want to solve it using Excel and um, we're just going to jump over there to Excel and get started. I've um, copied over the data points and I wanted to just point out that if you wanted to use the data analysis tool, if you look down there, it gives you a t-test for equal variances and unequal variances. So just click on that and click on OK. But when we get there, it wants raw data. And so uh, it becomes problematic because we do not have raw data to uh, give it. So we can't use the data analytics package to solve this particular problem. What we can do though is go to our add-ins and pH stat and we've got our two sample test summarized data and it gives us either a pool variance or separate variance. Pool variance, if you remember, we use when we have equal variances. And in this problem, we have unequal variances, so we need to use the separate variance test. And we get this dialog box. The hypothesized difference is zero. Our level of significance is 0.01. First sample size is 15. The mean is 2273. Standard deviation is 174. Sample size number two is eight. Sample mean 2309. Standard deviation is 50. Okay, now we have to select the test option. Remember this problem, the alternative hypothesis was an upper tail or a right tail test because it was assuming that mu1 minus mu2 is greater than zero. And we're going to call this equal variant, excuse me, unequal variances for our output. And I'm going to click OK. And we get this output sheet and there's our hypothesized difference again, level of significance. There's our data for sample one, sample two. And then it gives us some intermediate calculations um, that I'll speak to in just a minute. Um, our separate variance test statistics, minus 0.74 round to six, which remember was the correct answer. And a p-value again, very large. It was 0.760, which is the same thing we got with StatCrunch, which tells us that we would reject the null hypothesis. But we've got a difference here. If you remember in the problem, they gave us a critical value of 2.998. And pH stat is telling us that it's 2.57 for the upper value. Why is there a difference there? Well, it has to do with the way that pH stat calculates the degrees of freedom to use in your T distribution. And pH stat uses a far more exact method than the Larson and Farber book tells you to use. If you remember in the Larson and Farber book, it said if you have unequal variances, then you use the smaller of the two uh, x minus uh, n minus one and so it would be seven degrees of freedom as opposed to 17 here the actual formula is is pretty complex and I don't want to get into that um, and it generates a degrees of freedom of 17.8 and using that procedure you always just take the integer portion of that 
which would be 17. And if you put that into the uh, stat crunch calculator for the uh, T distribution, you will get a critical value of 2.57. At any rate, you're given that P value, very large, much greater than 0 0.01, so we know to reject. And again, our test statistic minus 0.74 is on the left side of the mean. Our critical value is on the right side of the mean, so we fail to reject.